what's going on guys so uh little request to do um a technical analysis video on soxl uh that is the three times etf um chart that we're looking at here so with that being said what we're going to do is take a little look at the daily time frame here we're going to try to figure out how you can manage this position accordingly to either um, obviously a at the end of the day break even at least on this potential trade and or make a little bit of money and what do we need to do to uh, kind of prevent not losing any more money so today we were down 48 cents we're down two and a half percent uh closed at 21 dollars and 95 cents so what i have here on my screen and i'm just going to kind of highlight this this line that I have on my screen here is around your average entry price. So I don't exactly know when you got into this uh, trade, whether it was recently within the past week or two, or whether you know we're talking about going back into March. But I'm going to kind of run through a couple of situations and scenarios depending on when you got in uh, and depending on when you got in where you could have potentially sold uh, so that in the future you do not make the same mistake uh, getting stuck kind of holding the bag on a potent on a potential position so i'll just use the first case scenario let's go back and let's say that you bought this position maybe sometime here in the beginning of march or maybe the middle of march right this box that i'm highlighting here is going to sig signify some price action that we had somewhere around that 2880 uh, cent area right so if you were to buy here on these potential dips i could see the reasoning for that um, more so on the on the second uh bounce right we can say that this is a little bit of a double bottom and we can say that this is you know potentially a little mini demand zone here where you know buyers felt comfortable bouncing this stock so from this price of around you know 27 to 29 uh in this area we did have a significant bounce but on a potential play like this where would we be looking to sell is we're going to hold this position until we break this level as soon as we break the 28 dollar uh, level 28.50 all bets are off so if this was to bounce here and then come down and break we have to close our position uh, it doesn't matter how good you feel about the stock it doesn't matter how good you feel about the etf it doesn't matter what the market is doing let's say the market is ripping higher but this breaks your your support level you have to respect the stop that way we don't get caught in a situation where now we're holding this down about seven point seven dollars on this potential trade um, because you if you don't manage your position correctly you know it can kind of get away from you so the first area of opportunity where we would be looking to take profits would be for sure the 20-day moving average that's this purple line on my on my screen here it is declining uh we definitely do want to take profits in this area this is where the first area we're going to want to take profits now the second area to take profits is going to be here at the 50-day moving average that's the red line on my screen um, we could also add to our position here. So let's say we hold this position. Um, as long as we're trading over $80, uh, $28, you're going to hold this. Uh, if we reclaim the 20-day moving average, we're going to sell into the 50-day moving average. Now, when we do get over the 50-day moving average, we did make an attempt at a gap up here, but we were rejected at the 100-day moving average as well as this linear regression channel here. So it, it, it did provide three opportunities from the month of March to get out of this trade for a profit. Uh, the first small profit was the 20 day moving average. The second bigger profit was the 50 day moving average. And then the third profit was, you know, running into this 200, 100 and linear regression supply zone definitely should have been taking profits on the way up. Okay. Let's get to a little bit more current situation. Let's say that you've bought within the last month, right? And I'm going to assume that you may have bought somewhere in this uh, little bit of run up here. Maybe you bought on this green day, this green day, maybe you bought somewhere in these two days. I'm going to assume that it has to be within this time here. Um, here's why we don't want to get into this trade. The reason why is we are still below a channel line. We're still trading below the 20 day moving average. Now, if we're going to start swinging positions where we're going to hold positions overnight, we need to for sure be over the five and 10 day moving average. In this case, we were over the five and 10 day moving average here. And this date was on 419. We were over the five and 10 day moving average. We were also over on 420. So let's say that you were in this position here. What is our stop loss going to be? 
our stop loss needs to be the lowest candles close in this whole formation. And that candle would have been at $25. Now, why would our stop loss be here at $25? Because if we do not use a stop loss at this lowest candle here, which was on 418, if we don't use this candles low as our stop, we are below previous lows here, previous lows here. All this is signifying is major resistance up here at $74, big decline. This is a lower high, big decline, lower high, big decline, lower high. And then we're now on a uh, fourth, one, two, three, four leg down. So we could be spelling, uh, spilling over into a fourth potential leg down where if we do find some support, let's say between 18 and $20 and we get another bounce, it would be potentially putting in a lower high followed by another bounce followed by a lower high. So I know that's a lot of information. If you need to rewatch this video, watch it over a couple more times. Let's come up with a game plan where we can help you either get out of this. If we do get any sort of dead cat bounce, we have potential to bounce, okay? We have potential to bounce into these two areas, $24.30. We also have potential to bounce back to 26. 24, 26. These are two areas that I would highly consider selling at, at least partial position or half position. If you choose to hold the position, the only way we need to hold a position is if we get a daily candle to close over $26. If we cannot close over $26, you need to sell this position because if we do this and we bounce and we get rejected at 26, you will get another leg down if it takes out the low of today, which is $21.50. You do not want to get stuck in a potential bounce holding and then have it further drop to $17, $18. Now, if we do close over the $26 area, your next profit taking area is going to be $28.63. I understand that this is going to be pretty much taking you to your current price and break even, but a break even trade, especially when a trade has gone against us, is definitely going to be a better trade than losing a bunch of money on, right? So how do we play if the stock continues to move further down? Our last support is $18.79. That's going to be the linear regression channel, or I mean, excuse me, that's going to be the lower Bollinger Band, okay? So these Bollinger Bands are starting to contract. What that means is if we do lose the lows of $21.48 and we come down into 18, I would use $18.79 as your absolute max pain stop loss. You have to. If you choose to hold this position on a day that continues to flush below $21.95, you must, and I repeat, must get out of this trade below $18.70. You do not want to be a part of a trade that is going to lose the last bit of support. Um, if I pull up a bigger time frame, which is the weekly chart, and try to find another area of support, we would be looking at, and we just, we recently broke through uh, support going back to 2020. We broke this resistance going from 2020. Technically, this does have room into the $17 and $18 area. Uh, weekly candles, one, two, three, four, five weekly candles, all red, weekly under the 50 uh, moving average, under the 20, under the five, under the 10. This is not a play that in the beginning we should have even been thinking about swinging long. This is something when we are trading below all of these levels of supply, we need to be thinking about scalping long intraday, day trading, and we need to think about shorting these stocks. Now, this just lost the weekly 200 day moving average. This is a inverse hammer candle. This candle is telling me that we have potential to come to 18 and $14. If you would like to short this to potentially make some money, if we lose $21.95, this is a short position into 18. There is a way to either close your current position now, take the loss and short this at $21.21, uh, $21 into 18. And then if it gets below 18, go to $15. That's definitely a uh, potential. Uh, the other idea is just to sell out of your position kind of just to accept the fact that this trade 
uh, lost. And then you can take your money uh, that you use that you have left and trade something else on a day to day basis. But I will leave you with this one piece of advice. This is not a market where we feel comfortable swing trading in. Um, I do swing trade when the market allows me to. The market in 2022, this year, for the past four months, going on five months now, has not allowed me to comfortably swing trade. So if the market is trading below the 50-day moving average, the 200-day moving average, there's not a lot of room for me to swing trade. Um, I don't feel comfortable swing trading, especially in a market like this. I will only day trade until the market shows me that we're back ready to get over uh, levels of supply. So like I said, if we do get a washout tomorrow to the $18 area, to the $20 area, and we get a bounce, your first pit stop is going to be 24 and 26. Definitely think about taking some profits or taking some of the position sizing away at 24 and 26. And if we close over $26, we do have room back up to your break even price of around $28 and some change. I really wouldn't look for any more other than that, unless the market has some sort of three or four or five day rally. Uh, definitely over $28.63. You do have room to 32. So also keep that in mind, but just make sure to keep an eye on today's lows. If we lose today's lows, $21.48, this will start to slowly drift into the $18 area. Keep that in mind. Um, you know, if you sell at a big loss right now, it's okay as long as you have money to continue to play other stocks. Uh, I would rather someone take a loss on a trade and just clean your table completely free and have that money back, whatever is left in this trade, to go trade something else and make that potent that make that loss that you took on this trade back, rather than holding this for another day, another week, another month, and losing more money. Uh, that's definitely option one. Option two is you can short through today's lows, 2150. You would look to take profits at 20, 19, and 18. Um, you can wait for a bounce, but you have to use 2150 as your stop or $18 as your stop. And you would be looking for the bounce to come into 24 and $26 and over $26, 2863. I hope this video helps you, buddy. Hit me up in Discord if you have any more questions or any more stocks or any other ideas that you want to kind of toss around. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.